In this session, we'll look at how to control the masking applied to civil 3D contour labels. On my screen, I have a drawing that represents a small proposed site plan. Let's zoom in and we'll look at a couple things. Right here, I've got an existing ground surface called Survey, and these magenta lines represent a proposed top surface called P Lot. Let's add some contour labels to the P Lot surface. I'll do that by selecting it, and then I'll open the Add Labels menu here at the far left of the ribbon. I'll come down and choose Contour Multiple and then I'll click some points to create a label line that will label both of those contours. When finished, I'll press the escape key a couple times to get out of the command, and we can zoom in and see those labels. Let's create some more labels. I'm gonna pan the drawing up, and then I will select the surface again. We'll go back to contour multiple, and then I'll click and create some labels across these contour lines. Once again, I'll press escape to exit the command. As you can see, here we have a bit of a problem. That's because by default, contour labels mask more than just the contour line. They mask everything that exists beneath the label. Now, in most cases, like we see over here, this isn't an issue. If, however, the contour labels appear in an area where we have a hatch, or an aerial photo, for instance, the masked area appears as this white rectangle. So, what can we do? Well, if I select the contour label line, I can come over to the Properties palette, and in here we'll find a masking option. By default, this is set to From Label Style. If I open the menu, I can choose Contour Line Only. Let's press Escape a couple times to deselect. Now you can see these contour labels are masking only their respective contour lines. In fact, if I select the grip here, I can drag these around, and you can see those labels look more like what you would expect to see having labels sitting on top of other objects. Let's create a couple more labels. I'm going to drag the drawing over. I'll select that top surface again. I'll choose Contour Multiple and then I'll create some additional contour labels. At this point, you may be wondering if you have to adjust that setting after each new contour label line that you create. The answer is no, we don't. Let me select these labels, and I'll press Delete. If we come over to the Settings tab, from here I can right-click on the Surface feature and choose Edit Feature Settings. In the Settings dialog box, I'm going to expand Contour Labeling Defaults. In here, we'll find a Label Mask Type setting. If I open the menu, we'll see the same choices that we saw in the Properties palette. I'm going to switch this to Contour Line Only, and I'll click OK. From now on, every contour label that I create will only mask its respective contour line. Let's test that. I'm going to select the surface again. We'll come over and choose Contour Multiple, and then I will label those same two contours. When I'm finished, we'll do a quick regen. I'll type RE and press Enter to clean up the screen, and we can see those labels look just fine. Now, after seeing this, you may be wondering why Contour Line Only isn't the default setting. Well, to have labels mask only the contour line requires additional processing power. In a small drawing like this, you might not even notice a difference. That being said, if you're working on a very large drawing, having large surfaces with hundreds of label lines, you may see a dip in performance. So, keep this in mind. In my own work, I prefer to keep the original contour label masking as the default in my Civil 3D template, so I'm going to switch this back the way it was. Then, in the future, as I'm creating contour labels, I will use the contour only method on an as-needed basis. So, the next time you're labeling a Civil 3D surface, remember that you have a choice when it comes to masking. If you have some areas where the label masking is too aggressive, simply choose the contour only setting to instantly improve the appearance of your exhibit or construction drawing. Would you like to explore other Autodesk infrastructure ideas and workflows? If so, please visit the Civil Immersion blog by scanning the QR code or by following the URL listed below.